it is no secret that the Edmonton-Calgary corridor is ideally suited for high-speed rail. But 35 years after the first study was completed, nothing has happened. High-Speed Rail Canada will give you a quick history lesson on past studies and will also look at possible ideas to bring passenger rail service back between these two communities and Red Deer. Regularly scheduled passenger trains served the area between Calgary and Edmonton on the Canadian Pacific Line from 1891 to 1985. In 1969, the journey time was three and a half hours, with three trains per day carrying 80,000 passengers. The service was terminated in 1985. In March, 1985, the Alberta government released a study, High Speed Rail Prospects in the Calgary-Edmonton Corridor. The study clearly demonstrates that high-speed rail service in the Calgary-Edmonton Corridor is technically feasible and economically viable, and that it would contribute to a revival of the province's engineering and construction industries. The relatively short, 300 kilometers, Calgary-Edmonton Corridor allows the business traveler to leave at 7 a.m. M. Returning by 6 p.m. and put in one full day's work. High-speed trains traveling at 200 to 270 km per hour could provide 10 to 14 trains a day. Downtown to downtown in one hour, 40 minutes. It would be grade-separated. It would cost $844,000 to build. No action was taken on the report. A high-speed rail review committee was created by Alberta Economic Development in December of 1985. Its terms of reference had as its objective the following, to review, assess, and report on the feasibility and viability of an innovative joint venture between the private sector and government to provide, between Calgary and Edmonton, a high-speed rail service. In 1986, their report stated, on the basis of currently available studies which it has reviewed and developed, the committee recommended that the government of Alberta does not proceed with the development of a high-speed rail link between Calgary and Edmonton. In 2003, the Alberta government was studying the concept again of high-speed rail between Calgary and Edmonton. At the same time Bombardier Transportation had built their full-scale jet train and was trying to sell it in Canada and USA. The jet train stopped in Calgary in 2003 for the public to view it. The jet train would run on an existing track. It had a turbine engine capable of speeds of 240 km per hour. In October 2004, the Van Horn Institute released a study about high-speed rail in the Edmonton-Calgary corridor. The study concludes that high-speed rail would bring significant benefits to the Calgary-Edmonton corridor and Alberta as a whole. Depending on the route technology alternative selected, the project is estimated to generate up to $6 billion in quantifiable benefits, it would offer a travel time of two hours or less required by prospective riders. The two options presented were, upgrading the existing CPR line to permit mixed freight and high-speed passenger rail service based on jet train technology, or constructing a largely new or greenfield line dedicated to high-speed rail service with shared access via the CPR corridor into both cities that uses either jet train technology or 300 km per hour electrified TGV-type trains. In 2008, the Alberta government commissioned another study looking at the economic benefits and market assessment for high-speed rail service between Calgary and Edmonton. The conclusion of this study was, the development of the Alberta high-speed rail system will provide an integrating force for the communities of the Calgary-Edmonton corridor. It will provide opportunities to fundamentally change the character of business in the corridor while expanding the level of social, personal and tourist interaction in the corridor. In the corridor the project will create a new business environment that will encourage and attract new businesses. Despite the jet train visit in 2003 and the positive conclusions from the 2004 and 2008 studies no action was taken on high-speed rail or any passenger rail service between Calgary and Edmonton in 2010, a study on the impacts of high-speed rail on rural Alberta was completed by CPCS Transcom Limited. The study outlined several ways to mitigate these impacts. In 2014 the Standing Committee on Alberta's Economic Future released a report on the, the feasibility of establishing a high-speed rail transit system in Alberta. 
it recommended that Alberta not proceed with high-speed rail. The government held public hearings on high-speed rail in Calgary, Edmonton and Red Deer. Even before the meetings the government's former transportation minister announced he was not committed to high-speed rail. The $6 billion line would allow users to travel between Alberta's two largest cities in 90 minutes, with a stop in Red Deer along the way. A private company, Alberta High Speed Rail Inc. with CEO Bill Cruikshank was pushing hard at the time to make high-speed rail a reality. Transpod the company started in 2015 and they state they are building an ultra-high-speed hyperloop system. Using maglev and other technologies to disrupt and redefine commercial transportation. They secured $550 million in private funding. They even have an agreement to build a test track in France and Alberta. The reality in 2023 is, there is no working transpod vehicle and no test tracks have been built in France or Alberta. In 2021, Prairie Link High Speed Rail Project was announced. It consisted of the consortium of Elliston and AECOM. They have partnered together to build high-speed rail between Calgary and Edmonton. Both companies are significant players in the construction and infrastructure development sectors. Since their original press release in 2021 Prairie Link has been silent on their future plans. In 2022, a non-high-speed passenger rail has been suggested. Alberta Regional Rail is proposing a commuter line between the two cities, stopping at communities along the Highway 2 corridor. The line would cost $2 billion and takes less than a year to put in the infrastructure. It would cost a fraction of the cost of a high-speed rail line or expanding the highway, as planned, to three lanes in each direction. In conclusion there are several projects to restore passenger rail service between Calgary and Edmonton. We hope that the government of Alberta realizes that passenger rail between Calgary and Edmonton can be a viable option for improving the quality of life for the people that live there.
roots. In the United States, efforts are also underway to get faster trains on slower, non-electrified rail lines. At the Transportation Technology Center in Pueblo, Colorado, tests were conducted on a turbine electric train designed by the Canadian manufacturer Bombardier. The train is powered by a jet engine turbine and is capable of operating at 150 miles per hour. That performance puts it in the company of many of today's high-speed trains. The turbine engines that are out there are putting out much more power with much less fuel use and pollution. Uh, that has a lot of appeal for urban areas that are looking at these kind of intercity travel. The states of Florida, California, Michigan, and others are all working to develop their own high-speed lines. Many states are looking at any variety of options. There are some places that maglev is going to work. There are other places where a electrified system would make more sense. And then there are other, other places in the country where a non-electric version would probably make more sense.